I can do this. I'm on my last page. Here we go. I am supposed to do something. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to reflect this across the line. Y equals 2. That's not y equals 2. That's x equals 2. y equals 2. So if I have to reflect this across the line y equals 2, this is what I get. And what do I want to do? I want to draw the line of reflection. So we did. Blah, blah, blah. Reflect this. So this is then right there, right there. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there, which I did. And then I need to state them. So two comma one. Done. One, two, three, four, make it a three. Done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just kidding. Six, negative one. Done. All right. We, oh, look at this little proof. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We got crazy crap going on here. I mean, crazy stuff. Oops, sorry. Uh, this little dude is a parallelogram, which means parallel, 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 parallel. We're trying to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So, it's given that it's a parallel. The fact that they're all parallel is the definition of parallelogram. And you should know that. So then we have we have alternate interior. So we have B C A. And B A C for those guys, and we can also get the other dudes. So this little dude here, D C A, and this little dude here, B A C, are also alternate interior, and the line segments are equal because they're reflexive, and they are congruent by looking at the picture A S A. All right, 44. This little dude is a square. JK equals JM. And we're trying to prove that this little dude here is equal to this little dude here. All right. So, well, let's see. JK and, and JM, this is given. Uh, we're also only given one other thing, and that is that NKLM is a square. And all sides are equal in a square. Would We could say that because NK equals KL equals LM equals MN. And these guys are equal. Ooh, 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 I know that one. Reflexive. And the two triangles are congruent because it SSS them. So, oh, beans. that's a fun one. All right, 45. Find the area and perimeter of the figures below if all the line segments meet at right angles. Right angle, right angle, right angle. So we're just finding the area and perimeter. So the second I draw that, I go ahead and cross that off because that's not 14, the whole thing. I mean, the, just a little part. 14 minus 9 is 5. And if this is 7 and this is 4, this is 3. So this is 15 for the area inside here and 63 for the area inside there. So I add them up and I get, oops, 78 for the area. For the perimeter, I needed this 5 and I needed this 3. So I needed 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 7 plus 4 is all of them. 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 7 plus 14 is 42.